All right, everybody, this is Austin, the Best Second 40 Antiques channel. I just spent $525 on glass and various antiques and art. Let's start with this. This has already sold. Um, this is a corseted genie bottle from Empoli, Italy. And you can see why it is already sold for $150. So just so you know, these are quite valuable. And if you see them out in the wild, especially with the stopper, it's very important. This stopper does have a little bit of weird discoloration, but it's not broken or anything. It's just uh, just kind of an oddball, I guess. You, know, you can see kind of like the blue is thinner in portions than other. So I don't know. It's very cool looking, though. It looks like it's kind of like was ripping apart as they made it, so I don't know. Maybe that's just a bit thinner than the other portions or something. <clears throat> Gorgeous form. You see why it's called corseted. Skinny in the waist. We paid... Uh, uh, these prices were like uh, what we were supposed to pay, and then we got a deal on top of that for buying so much. So... When I say a price, understand that it was actually just a little bit lower than that. So we paid $10 for that. We paid $8 for this. I believe this will be a Viking tri-foot swung glass vase in a nice, nice blue. This is going to go on for a while. Um, I don't usually spend $500 because really, I mean, like, who, who possibly can? Um, you know, you'd have to be... Uh, You'd have to be a much wealthier person than I am to do that. We'll put them down there first, and then we'll put them on the shelf behind them. This was $10. You can see why we would have done that. I'm not sure who the maker is. Maybe it's just Fenton, but, but man, that is quite a thing. Quite a color, too. Uh, so, yeah, we did get some blue glass got a little bit of white glass we actually got this at a garage sale for I think two dollars hand painted by D Anderson maybe I think so so that'll be a Fenton piece white ruffled edge cute little vase Oh, you're probably going to like this. This is going to be Ellie Smith, Moon and Stars, a little uh, carafe. Maybe just a pitcher, I don't know. It's got a stopper, though. Yeah, how many of those have you seen? Austin found one. <laughs> For six dollars. Because we were already at 50% off before we... Uh, before we started doing a end tally. Oh, that's a pretty neat bubble down there. It looks like they actually had something in there. Just on the bottom portion there. This is a piece of Viking glass. As we can see right there. And I think I saw that this was maybe like a napkin holder. Beautiful bottom. Goodness gravy. Viking does all right for themselves. Make a pretty good accounting of themselves. Okay. A bit of a bowl here. I don't know if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> it's a little big. It's a, I think it's showing a little less aquamarine than it actually is. Goodness gravy. Look at that beast. I mean, look how big that is compared to the other pieces up here already. I mean, that's a, that's a little stupid, but that's, that's uh what kind of size we're talking about there. You know what? There's a ruler. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> like, we didn't pay enough for this stuff, right? I gotta dang it together. This is actually 12 inches wide. So, 
so let's see. Um, we can't like keep that up there because it's huge. It will take up the whole shop. Um, what do you suppose that is? <laughs> Let me see if I can even find the other piece. That's got to be one of the bluest turkeys you done ever seen. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm lying. How cool is he? How cool is he? Doesn't look like any mark or anything. What a beautiful piece. I never saw a blue duck before. Oh, good lord. Okay, the Viking piece is like, I don't know if it's bad luck or what, but we're going to get him out of the way. I'm really worried about his phalanges and such there. All right. You guys probably seen like a hundred of these chicken dishes, right? Just tons of them. Oh, wow, she's got a broken beak. No. We might replace her with a non-broken beaked bird. It might be worth it if we can find one cheap because... She came with this basket. I don't know. <laughs> is that even is that even what she belongs on? Because that is quite quite a chicken dish. Am I wrong? I don't know. Does that belong together? Maybe it don't, but it fits. This has no mark on it. It's a beautiful bottom though. Oh, I love random bubbles in glass. Isn't that so beautiful? Um, probably shouldn't keep that up here either, so let me cover that back up, put that chicken back on it. Alright, what else we got in here? Let's be careful here, these appear to go together. Can you see that pretty well? Just some grapes and leaves stuff. Pretty impressive dish though. <laughs> And it looks like we would have paid $8. There's a $16 sticker in there. It's going to be blue glass on the bottom. You can see through that okay. I don't know. I don't know how old that is or anything, but it's a very nice dish. I approve. Oh, you know what? Let me get that big thing out of here. Because um, we've got two big plates coming. Very gently set that there. Oof. Oof duh. Okay, I don't know who made this yet. But man. <laughs> so we're still on our first box here, just so you know. Oh wow, look at that pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Now I mentioned that all of these things are for sale. Uh, the genie bottle's already sold, but uh, just message me on Facebook and I'll give you a price for whatever I got here, whatever you're interested in. We're not even done. Like we're not even. Uh, uh, we're not even close to done. What do you think this is? I'll give you a hint. We didn't get it at any of those hippie stores. <laughs> This is a swung vase from Ellie Smith Moon and Stars pattern. And if you're not into that, well, I don't know what you would be into. I should mention that three foot one might be by Ellie Smith too. I'm not sure. I'm not always sure on uh, on um, swung glass. Now, prepare yourself for this. We would have paid ten dollars before any discount on this. It's just a massive serving tray for eggs and uh, you know relishes and stuff like that. So I mean, you know, only the only the classiest, fanciest people would have these, like me. <laughs> All right, that might be an overestimation of my own uh, my own abilities there. Let's see. It looks like it's a blue glass. 
Man, isn't that the coolest looking thing? Man, that's wildly cool. I really, you know, I really do like these things. I really don't care, like, like don't feel pressured into buying them just because I'm saying these things. Like, I just like them. I'm looking at them and enjoying them and, like, appreciating them for the first time with you guys. So don't think that I'm, like, churching it up to sound cool and to make you buy things. I'm churching it up because they're churched up. And then last thing in that box, oh, blue Ellie Smith, moon and stars, salt and peppers. And what I'm going to do is stop right now, package up or package this stuff back up and uh, we'll um, come back and empty one more box. I think tonight. I love you guys. We'll be right back. I don't really know what's in this box, so if it's unsatisfactory, we'll we'll do another one, you know. I swear I just heard a noise that, like, scared me? Yeah, it scared me. I'm just gonna say it, it scared me. <laughs> like there was a cicada in one of these <laughs> papers or something. So I, are you able to see how um, iridized that is? It's a beautiful hand-painted Fenton piece. Got a Fenton sticker and a Fenton sticker right there. And hand-painted by D. Frederick. I do believe I have a D. Frederick already. I think we'll leave that right there. It doesn't look like there's going to be much in this one. We might do two right now. This is Japanese shark skin glaze from the early to mid 20th century with heavy Moriyagi decoration, which is enamel, not clay slip in this particular case. You can see how shiny it is. Um, pieces like that are worth about $50. I mean, you know, uh, you give or take. That's not the um, shark skin glaze of Takeuchi fame, but it is still a, uh, it's still a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful technique. I really enjoy it. I might actually sell one of these. Uh, I've got, I think I got two teapots and like a sugar creamer. So, uh, I might let one of those go, because you don't need two teapots. Unless it turns out one of them's a creamer, and I have a whole little tea set. Oh, I forgot about this. So this was $9 before any other discount. Another beautiful hand-painted Fenton piece. Let me see. Ya. Hopefully you can see how iridized that is. I mean, it's a really beautiful thing. Hopefully my light's not completely ruining it for you. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, let's let's get this sticker off. We gotta save whoever this is painted by. It came off really easy. D. Anderson. Hey, isn't that um, isn't that who had painted the other piece that we had just looked at? See, that one was D. Frederick, which I think I have another piece painted by them. But I think one of the pieces we just looked at in the other box was D. Frederick. Or Anderson, whichever one I look at in a second. <laughs> so we don't usually buy milk glass, but it was the biggest top hat I had ever seen. It's all scungy and stuff. And it was in the 75% off tent for $6, and I know they sold this to us for a dollar. So we paid a dollar for a giant daisy button um, top hat. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot in this one, so I think I might just do another uh, another video after that. Another little piece of the uh, shark skin lace. I don't really remember everything we bought. Oh, beautiful Fenton shoe. 
with a little bit of opalescence at the end there. Hobnail. Uh, and it would have been $6 before any further discount they gave us. And actually, I'm going to leave this one over here because we got a huge amount of stuff that matches that shoe. I think this will be the lid for our other little pot here. It looks like he's the lid for this pot. Well, neither of those fit very well, so why don't we set those right here and we'll see who belongs where in a minute. Tiny little bowl. And actually, isn't that super nice? I'm pretty sure this has a good mark on it. Maybe Noritake? Very good hand-painted gilding. Oh, and this side's sort of the same design replicated, but not quite. Oh, you see the blue flowers in there? I didn't see those at first. Those are beautiful. Goodness gravy. Yeah, Noritake, made in Japan. So this is a later piece, but man, man, hand painted. I'll point out again. Glorious. Oh, and here's a uh, sugar for that set. So maybe one is a creamer, or do you think I got two teapots? What do you guys think? One of these teapots has a, uh, a filter. Seems like it fits pretty well in there. Let's try it in the other one just to see. Also, eh, it seems kind of like it fits perfect in that one, so I guess we'll go with that. It seems like that does that. And that is just too small for that. Oh. What a putz. What a nerd. Maybe I don't have a... Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. It looks like maybe this one? There's... Okay, there's a hole in this one. And there's a hole in this one. So if you guys can tell me if I've got the right lids on the right pieces there, I'd appreciate you. What do you think? Do you think that's tea, cream, and something? Or do you think that's like a... Do you think I just don't know at all what I'm talking about? I like the brighter green on this piece. But it might be that if we clean all these up... Do you see that shark skin looking detail? I mean, isn't that wild? So yeah, I mean, they charge us $6 for these, and they're probably worth about $150. Oh, but you know what? That green doesn't match that green. So maybe... Oh, got her nailed. Okay. Alright, keeping going. A little piece that matches that blue shoe back there. A little hobnail decanter. Or a, a carafe, I would say. Pitcher, whatever you guys want. It's very cool looking from the bottom. <laughs> you know how we do. Oh, oh, can't get it in there. Okay. Wildly inept. Um, you guys want to see one thing I bought? So... This would have been... <laughs> it's got a $35 price tag on it, so it was $17 before the, uh, before whatever discount they were willing to give us. Oh my word. So, it's that big, which means it measures... Where'd my measurer go? I got it. Okay, hold on. Um... It measures 22 or so inches. A little bit more than, almost 23, I'd say. So there's a 23 inch swung glass vase. I believe that's Ellie Smith. And uh, yeah, it's worth more than $17, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, look at this gorgeous teacup. Actually hand painted. You can see its little, you can see its little brush marks and stuff. Yukago made in occupied Japan. So this is an early Yukago piece. 
uh, would have paid three dollars for it before any other discount. There is a matching saucer somewhere. Let me see if I can see if I can manage to snag it right out of there. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Enjoy the beach and the woods while you're having your tea. Nice mark. Occupied Japan. So that would have been just after 1945 up to, I think, 1950, maybe 1949. I'm a little, I'm a little fuzzy on it. So this is three boxes we're getting into. Beautiful little cranberry vase. I'm going to say this is like Rainbow or Blanco or somebody like that. Uh, would have been $4 before anything else. Rough Ponto. Just trying to make sure I don't pull any newspaper that's under something else and, uh, you know, we end up hearing that awful noise. Oh, you know, my apologies. This is going to be like a, uh, like a whole bottle sort of deal, I think. So let me get them out and then I will show them to you. to be like physically upset with me I you know I'm gonna tell you again this isn't my fault I like just started doing this there's no reason there's no reason I should just be able to go out to the to the garage sales and such and pick up stuff like this we'll talk about that in just a second oh yeah we just um you know Alright, it's getting a little ridiculous now. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Um, so, so, <laughs> so, uh, is he done? Is he done? Is he done? Is he factually done? He is factually not done. We're gonna put one more right there, make them squeeze into place. Okay, what has Austin done? Do you, do you think we're done now? Well, we're done with this box. The problem is, I believe I've got three more in my car. <laughs> we uh, haven't talked about the new Daisy Button piece I got, which is also blue. Oh. So, uh, this is how we're going to go out on this video here. These are my new pieces of tall glass. And if anybody needs any of them, please just let me know. <clears throat> Unfortunately, none of these have stoppers. Does not change the fact that they are uh, pretty glorious. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to hear something kind of gross? So this one... This one would have been uh, six dollars, because he rounds down for us. So uh, these bottles were all marked twelve dollars, uh, not the big vase and not the Empoli bottle, um, and not this one which was marked nine. So we paid nine for this, ten for the Empoli, and uh, something like seventeen for the tall one. So then we got these these uh, five bottles. Okay, these two. One, one, one. Uh, all blue. I believe all in Poli. We paid $15 for those five bottles. And I think that's where I'll leave you cliffhanging. Because uh, cause if we paid $15 for just those five bottles, what do you think? What do you think's in the other boxes? I don't even know. I really don't know. I have no idea. But, uh,. Now you start to see why we spent $500 on this. Now this is a 
piece of Satsuma. Late Meiji era, I would guess. Um, I'm pretty good at guessing that sort of thing, so so please uh, don't don't uh, you know don't yell at me. It's not like an uneducated guess. I'm sure, we can probably figure out the signature at some point in time. So we've got uh, Satsuma, Satsuma wares in the Thousand Flower style, and it's very pretty. I like this quite a bit. I don't care if anybody wants it from me, because I'm not selling it to you. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Hundred year old Japanese bowl, I don't see the price, oh I just took the price tag off. Uh, it was marked ten dollars, so I paid at least five for it. And yeah, decorated inside and out, and just a gorgeous thing. And that obviously belonged with us. So here we are, Austin, best second of forty antiques channel. Five new and pulley bottles. Six if you count the one that I already sold. Uh, whoever made this bottle, um, you know. This little fella, oh my goodness, and this hem's adorable. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I risked, uh, I risked a lot by spending this amount of money. It's not really a thing I'd want to do, but, but uh, with prices like these, you see why I did. So that's where we're at. And uh, if anybody needs any of these, just let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll surely give you a fair price on them. This is Austin, Best I Can Afford to Antiques channel. You know, I adore you guys. I'm sorry I have to talk about selling. It's not really what I want to do. I'd rather just talk about art education, but I just paid $500 and I don't have any more money. So if anybody wants to buy anything, please do. <laughs> Now's the time. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I love you guys.